Hi guys, so today I'm here with a new name video for you and I'm really excited about this one because this is going to be number one in a series of five videos where I'm counting down my top 50 names for girls and my top 50 names for boys. So there are going to be a hundred names in this series, 20 names per video. Some of you might remember that about a year and a half ago I actually counted down my top 100 names and I thought about doing that again. I've got a few requests to do that again. But then my friend Megan, who is Tulip by any name here on YouTube, um, said she was going to do her top 50. And I thought that that was a little bit less daunting than doing a top 100. So I am going to do that as well. I'll put the link to Megan's uh, countdown in the description box below. So make sure you go check out her top 50 name videos um, after you're done watching this one because she has a really great taste in names and I love her videos. So I'm just going to get started and I'm going to in this video count down from numbers 50 to number 41 for both boys and girls. So at number 50 for boys I have Constantine. I have always loved this name. Um, sometimes it's been higher on my list, sometimes it's been a little lower. I think this would make a really great middle name to kind of a shorter first name, something like maybe Jasper Constantine would be amazing. Constantine is a Latin name, it means constant or steadfast, and I love the association with uh, Emperor Constantine the Great. He was actually the first Roman Emperor to adopt and make legal Christianity, not just Christianity, but he made it legal for you to practice any religion um, of your choice, which was very forward thinking for his day. So I really like that association and I just think the name Constantine is really awesome. At number 50 for girls, I have Allegra. Allegra sounds so musical, so beautiful. It's an Italian name. It means cheerful and lively, which really suits the sound of it, I think. I love when meanings suit the sound of the name. At number 49 for boys, I have Shasta. Shasta is a Sanskrit name that means teacher, although I've seen quite a few different meanings for this name. I think it's a very multicultural name. Um, it's used in quite a few different languages. And of course I think of the Narnia books and the character from The Horse and His Boy, the main character in that novel is named Shasta. And I love C.S. Lewis and Narnia and I really, really love that book and that story. At number 49 for girls I have Evelina. Evelina is a variant of the name Evelyn and my grandma's name is Evelyn and I would definitely consider using this name to honor her. I think it sounds very just princessy and feminine, Evelina. At number 48, I have Godric. Godric is an old English name that means power of God. I think of Godric Gryffindor from Harry Potter, and I just think of the name of like a prince or a knight from the Middle Ages when I hear the name Godric. At number 48 for girls, I have Miriam. Miriam is actually the original Hebrew form of the name Mary. And in the Bible, she was the sister of Aaron and Moses. Miriam is number 305 right now in the US in uh, popularity. So it is not overly popular, but it's not unheard of. I think Miriam would be a really uh, cool way to honor someone named Mary if you didn't just want to go with Mary. At number 47 I have Callahan. Callahan comes from an Irish surname and you'll see throughout this list um, as I count down that I really really like names that come from Irish surnames and Callahan means lover of churches which I think is a really really cool meaning. I just love the sound of this name Callahan. Uh, it just sounds really cool and you can get the nickname Cal. At number 47 for girls I have a name that is very very different and that is Honolulu. Honolulu is the fictional place name from the song Puff the Magic Dragon and that song was one of my absolute favorites when I was growing up. I adored that song 
And a couple years ago, I was just humming that song, and then I thought to myself, Honolulu would be a beautiful name for a girl. People really like that Lee ending, and I just think Honolulu sounds magical. At number 46 for boys, I have Tristan. I have loved the name Tristan for a very long time, probably since I was about 11 or 12 years old. It's a Welsh name and it also has French influence, um, so it means loud or sorrowful. Um, in Arthurian legend, Tristan was a knight of the round table, which really is what it sounds like to me. Tristan sounds like the name of a knight. And he was also the lover of Isolde in the legend of Tristan and Isolde. Right now it's at number 100 in the US, so it's um, pretty popular uh, and I can definitely understand why it's popular because I think it's a very handsome name. At number 46 I have Jeanette. Jeanette is a French name. It's a feminine form of John, which means God is gracious. And growing up, I always loved the Christmas Carol, Bring a Torch, Jeanette Isabella. It's actually my mom's favorite Christmas Carol. And recently I was just thinking about how beautiful the name Jeanette actually is. It's just such a stunning French name and I love the association with that Christmas Carol. At number 45 for boys, I have Jasper. Jasper is a Persian name that means treasurer. Um, Jasper was the name of one of the wise men who visited baby Jesus, which I think is such a cool association. And it's also a gemstone name, which is another really cool association. It's at number 218 right now in the US, so it's not overly popular. Um, it's actually less popular than I thought it was, so that's a plus. At number 45 for girls, I have Esperanza. Esperanza is a Spanish name that means hope. I think it has the most beautiful sound. Um, it is just stunning. At number 44 for boys, I have Amadeo. I love Amadeus and Amadeo both. Um, I love Mozart. He's probably one of my favorite composers of all time. Um, but I love names that end in O, so I like the Amadeo form just a little bit more than the Amadeus form. It's an Italian name and it means love of God, so it has a wonderful meaning as well. At number 44 for girls, I have Galliana. Galliana is a name from my family tree from way back when, I think from like the 11 or 1200s. And it's a Germanic name that means highborn, and it's a name that was used in, in the Middle Ages, but is like never used now. And I just think it sounds like um, a medieval princess, honestly, Galliana. It's just beautiful. At number 43, I have Fabian. I've always, always loved the sound of this name, but I think the meaning um, is a little strange. It's a Latin name, and it means bean grower. It's number 325 in the U.S. right now, so it's not super popular, but it is being used. At number 43 for girls, I have Vivian. Vivian was, at one time, um, when I was in high school, my favorite name for girls. It's a Latin name and it means alive, and it is in the top 100 now. It's at number 98 which uh, was surprising for me that it's in the top 100, um, but I can understand why it is so beautiful. At number 42 for boys, I have Abraham. Abraham is just such a strong, solid biblical name. It's a Hebrew name, it means father of multitudes. There's of course the Abraham Lincoln Association. I love the nickname Abe for a little boy. I just think that that is so cute. And it is at number 180 in the US right now. At number 42 for girls, I have Pearl. Pearl is one of my favorite names to see in the middle name spot. I just think it is the perfect middle name. It is a gemstone name. And right now in the US, it is number 628. At number 41, for girls and for boys, I have 
uh, two names that actually come from the same origin and I didn't do that on purpose. It just kind of happened, which I thought was a little funny. Um, for boys I have Felix, which is a Latin name that means luck. And I love the X ending. I just think Felix is a really cool name. And it is at number 267 in the United States right now. And for girls, I have Felicity, which is a Latin name that means luck or happiness. And I just think Felicity is beautiful. Um, there was an American girl doll named Felicity. When I was uh, growing up, I always you know, would read the books and stuff that went along with the American Girl dolls. I never actually had one, but I would read the stories and there was one named Felicity and I think that's kind of where I fell in love with that name. So those are my favorite names, numbers 50 to 41. Next time I will do number 40 to number 31, so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out Megan's videos of her favorite name countdown and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.